today I'm going to show you how to make lots of masks and also how to make the mask in elastic. So this is to accompany the other video that I made about um, how to make a face mask. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to do is put your pattern onto cardboard. Okay, so you've printed out your pattern, you've stuck the pieces together, now you're going to stick it onto cardboard. So this can be um, an old cereal box or you can take a whole bunch of magazines and take the covers off and stick them all together and then stick your um, pattern onto it. Basically you want both your pattern pieces to be on something that's nice and sturdy. Um, and then what the other thing you're going to do to make the nips, so on your pattern piece you have your guides of where your um, pleats are going to go. So what I've done, I've just made small little nips, so where your little um, marks are, you just take your scissors and you cut a small little triangle in, just so that when you're marking it, it's much easier to get your pen or your soap or your tailor's chalk into that to give yourself a nice little mark. So once you have that, then you're ready to go. Okay, now you want to cut lots of masks at one time. So you have a piece of fabric, obviously it might be a bit bigger than this, and what I've done is I've measured the pattern and I've cut one long strip across my fabric. So there's my self edge, which is in line with my grain line. And I've cut that along the same size, a little bit bigger than the actual pattern piece. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna try and cut six masks all at the same time. So I'm going to take my fabric and I'm gonna fold it. Just make sure that all your fabric edges are lying up nicely and that your grain line is gonna be nice and straight. And I'm going to use this as a guide and fold it over and fold this underneath. Okay, so make sure that your pattern still, is still going to fit on here. So I need to make this slightly bigger and fold this over. So this should work on a piece of fabric that's 150 centimeters wide um, or slightly less. Okay, so now I have six layers of um, fabric all in one go. Um, which is why I wanted this to be on cardboard. So now there's a few options that you can do here. So you can either take um, your tailor's chalk or your pen and draw this onto here and then take the pattern off and cut it out. Or um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rotary cutter and my ruler um, and I'm going to line this up over here so I'm using my, fabric, my pattern as a guide, and I'm going to cut through all six layers um, at the same time. I've got to love a rotary cutter that doesn't cut properly. Okay, and while I've got it like this, I'm actually going to immediately cut the top one over here because I've got everything lying up. Now this is a slight curve, so I can't use my ruler for this bit. And it is thick, obviously, because it's six layers. So I'm going to cut that curve without moving anything. Um, so I've got those two sides cut. Now I'll very carefully turn the whole thing around and cut that side and that side. And then you'll have six layers cut. So like I was saying, if you don't have a rotary cutter, um, and a ruler then you can draw it on so what I've just using here is a piece of soap but you can use um, tailor's chalk or a, a blue pen anything that you need to use for fabric and then what you can do is pin this so pin your six layers of fabric together in a few places before you cut it out and then you can actually just use obviously it's a bit thick um, just to hold that in place and then you can use your scissors to cut them out if you don't have a rotary cutter okay if you really struggle with this and your scissors doesn't want to cut through all six layers, um, then just fold less layers. Um, but try and cut, you know, at least two layers or more at a time to get um, a lot of a lot of masks cut. Now I want to cut my straps if I'm not going to be using elastic. Um, so to do it easily, I'm again going to fold my fabric. So just be very very careful when you do this that everything is dead straight. I'm going to fold my fabric like that, and I'm going to use this. Um, rotary cutter and blade again to cut so I'll cut my straps I'll just make sure this is straight so make sure that everything is straight if this is not straight then you're going to have um, a little bit of a kink in your binding so practice this a little bit um, if you are getting kinks then maybe cut it um, longer all in one strip but basically I folded my fabric in half twice um, and I'm just going to cut it down here so just be careful because these rotary cutters are very very sharp 
And I'll have to turn this around now um, to cut the other one, so I don't want to cut at a funny angle. And then you'll measure um, how wide your uh, strap is. So it's four centimeters on the pattern. If you are using a binder, then you'll probably cut it three and a half centimeters, because um, then you can put it through the binding. So I'm going to do it on three and a half, so I can put it through my binder. Um, and then obviously you can cut a whole bunch of strips all in one go. Um, and then with this strip, what I'll do is I'll sew this um, strip as per the instructions. So I'll sew this into a strip. Okay. And then this one long strip is enough for one mask. So I will then cut it in half and cut it in half again. And then I have four straps for one mask. If you don't have a rotary cutter um, and a ruler like I do, just make yourself a cardboard pattern. Uh, and draw your lines onto your fabric and then cut out your strips. Okay, so if you're making the mask now and you are going to put elastic in instead of straps, this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to mark where our elastic is going to go um, as per where the straps would go. So that's your little markings that's on your pattern. Now, just to note that when I fold this in half like that, that is my bottom. That's where my chin goes. This is the top of the mark, mask and that is the bottom of the mask. So what you're going to do at the bottom of the mask, you're going to put the shorter elastic and at the top, you're going to put the longer elastic. The difference is not huge. It's about four centimeters different. I do find that it fits a little bit better. If they are both the long one, it also doesn't really matter, but um, it is good to have the two different lengths. So this one, the long one is 30 and the shorter one is 26. So I am now going to pin um, the shorter one into my garment here. So I'm putting those two there and that's at the bottom and then I'm going to pin this guy here which is at the top and fold this over and then sew as per normal so you're going to sew and leave a gap and then stitch around like that so just a quick note I haven't sewn this one yet but when you have sewn it and you're going to cut your corners off don't cut your elastic okay because that'll make it it could fray out so when you cut the corners off here um, to neaten it up don't cut the elastic at the same time. Okay, another neat little trick on how to make binding quickly. I stuck my binder um, with a lot of press stick onto this little box here, um, and I'm going to use my hair iron um, to pull the binding through. So I'm gonna grab it like that and just basically do that, and then I'm gonna get beautiful binding. So this is if you have a binder um, and you wanna make binding, this is a nice quick and easy way to do it. Um, and it's really fun. Okay, so that's just a few tips and tricks on, <laughs> on how to make lots of marks as well as how to make a mask with elastic in. Just a few other things when I'm doing production, I like to cut everything, pin everything, sew everything, um, and then I like to take everything away from my machine and go and turn everything around, maybe um, sitting in front of the TV or something or watching my favorite show so that I don't feel like I'm stuck in one room all the time doing all the hard work. Um, and then masking, uh, marking all my um, pleats and then pinning it Again, sitting somewhere nicely and then coming back and doing the final sewing. When you do sew the elastic mask, just remember to move your elastic out the way because it can be um, a little bit more tricky than with the tie mask. Um, and basically, go for it. Get sewing, ladies and gentlemen. Because um, my mask protects you and your mask protects me.